There's this asshole kid named Timmy in Mondstadt. He f***ing sucks. Alrighty, Zhong Li, the Chad Geo Daddy. He'll make a deal, and if you break the deal, he'll make you kneel for your ordeals and peel your face and make you squeal. Uh, he also does this to people who don't like and subscribe to this channel, so. Do it. Today we're drawing Zhong Li, because the maintenance is up right now, and it's gonna take a few hours for him to be released. And I don't want him, I don't want him, I don't want him. Because I already have him, and I think his constellation 1 is really unnecessary. So, yeah. let's draw him! Okay, so story time. He had a girlfriend named Guizhong, the goddess of dust. Sorry if I'm butchering that pronunciation. You might be familiar with that name because Guizhong Ballista was used in the Archon Quest because she made it. So yeah, Guizhong was a weak goddess, but she was smart since she pretty much designed the weapons that were able to damage Osile. Apparently, she made a alliance with Zhong Li, creating the Gui Li Alliance. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right either. Merging their fellow worshippers into the same group. She was the brain and Zhong Li was the brawn. But unfortunately, she died during the war and Zhong Li decided to move the Gui Li Alliance to the south, which is now known as the Li Wei Harbor. Moving on to elemental abilities. Elemental skill. Shinra Tensei. Zhong Li uses his almighty push, damaging nearby enemies in an AoE. After a moment, he creates a Geo Shield that tells every enemy in the game to f***ing grovel, because it's f***ing thick. And it also reduces nearby enemies' elemental and physical resistance by 20%. Elemental Burst Shibaku Tensei Zhong Li uses planetary destruction, darkening the damn sky, and summons a big-ass meteor in a big-ass AoE, and smashes the s*** out of everything with heavy Geo damage, while also petrifying them for eternity. Actually, it only takes like 5 seconds, but to them, it's gonna feel like an eternity, cause they're DEAD! No, 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 please, 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 please let me lose pity. Yes! Ah, uh, no, it's Chi Chi. Uh, it's okay. It's okay. We're, we're good. We, we have guaranteed pity. Gosh, I really wish I don't get a 5 star. Um, carry this summer. Moving on to passive talents. Passive 1. Pervert Shield. Whenever the shield takes damage in the game, their shield strength is increased by 5%, and this buff can stack up to 25% max. Passive 2. Thick damage. Zhong Li deals bonus damage based on his HP. Passive 3. Zhong Li demands a 15% refund to the smiths whenever he creates a polearm. If they don't refund, then they face the rock. Give me. Moving on to Constellations, Constellation 1, Extra PP. Zhong Li can summon another PP because he's f***ing pip like that. Constellation 2, your planetary destruction gives your teammates shields now. Constellation 3, your almighty push gets stronger. Constellation 4, your meteor AoE gets bigger and your petrification lasts 2 seconds longer. Constellation 5, your meteor hits harder. Constellation 6, when your almighty shield is active, 40% of incoming damage converts into HP. So, have fun, because this can apply to anyone. I feel like uh, Constellation 1 and 2 is and I say this from the bottom of my heart, because um, I really didn't need his Constellation 1. I, I really didn't. I, I I don't want it. Like, the, the f***? I wanted Yanfei. Yanfei, 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 Yanfei. 
<laughs> wait, oh wait, hold up. <laughs> wait, wait, don't do this. Come on. Moving on to artifacts. So I like using burst support Zhongli with HP, geo damage bonus, and HP, because his HP artifacts still affect his damage and his shield. But if you want to squeal your enemies by sending them to the prehistoric times, then go with the typical attack, geo damage bonus, and crit damage. Or if you want the shield that makes the enemies grovel, then you can technically just go HP, 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 but uh, that's all up to you. For substats, I just focus on crit rate and crit damage, then HP. I think the crit damage and crit rate is just a valuable stat for any kind of builds, whether you're building support or not. But if you purely want to go for HP, since it's impossible to get lucky with artifacts, then go ahead and go with HP, because that's still great. But his Constellation 1 is not. I'm not even gonna chant your name. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on to P-Sets, for beginners, Berserker, Exile, Scholars, it's all great, but Tiny Miracle is a pretty good defensive set as well. For Endgame, thanks to the glorious 1.5, this new artifact set is perfect for support Zheng Li. Raises HP for the first time with a 2P set. And a 4P set, of course, is the broken part about this P set. Whenever you damage enemies with your elemental skill, gives your entire team 20% attack boost and increases shield strength by 30% for everyone in the team. Not like this shit. And this effect can still be applied when the character is not on the field. I wonder who they specifically made this for. But before this artifact arrived, most people just used the two-piece archaic and the two-piece noblesse, and this is what I'm currently using, and it does do the job. However, I'm personally going to move on to the new artifacts because these buffs from this new artifacts are just too good to pass. But I can definitely guarantee that this will take a eternity to farm. So yay, Genshin Impact, such a fun game. Alrighty, weapons. Starting with 5 stars, Primordial Jade Spear, amazing for auto attacks, also the crit rate is nice. Homa, the stereo- uh, f that's- that's f I can't speak. The steroid spear that gives Zhongli big damage thanks to the HP based buff and also the 66% crit damage. Vortex, great, but get a shield so it's better and for some reason it's not featured in this banner. That's kind of stupid. Scoured Spine gives you energy and crit rate and attack speed. Very nice and underrated spear. Moving on to four stars. The racist spear. Great ability, but you need a team full of Liyue chads. And I probably pronounced Liyue wrong. Black Cliff, crit damage, decent -ish ability, but crit damage part rules over everything. Credit Card Spear, amazing for support, giving you more crit rate than the Jade Spear. I use this for Zhongli right now. Royal Spear, I said this before, I'll say this again. Timmy of all weapons. It sucks. Dragon Bane, don't. Pavonia Spear, Infinite Battery, Dragon Spine, cool design but odd ability. Crescent Spike, uglier than Dragon Spine but probably better. Star Glitter, decent support spear, white tassel, easy to R5 and easy to crit rate. Okay, teams. Yeah, uh, you don't really need a guide for this. Zhongli fits in anywhere. Unfortunately, he fits in anywhere, including my, you know, inventory and also he fing money. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, pff, uh, yeah, he fits in anywhere. But as a small tip, I guess Geo Resonance works very, very nicely in a Zhongli team. So make sure to take advantage of that. So how the f 
fuck do you play Zhongli? Well, it's pretty easy. Almighty push, planetary devastation, then switch. Or at least that's how I use him, because like I said before, I use burst support Zhongli. It's pretty good. But some tips, I guess. Number one, use his shield before you do anything, because not only does this make you invincible, it also decreases the enemy's physical and or elemental resistance by 20%. And this is a really crucial part about this guy's skill, but I feel like a lot of people forget about this. Number two, Zhongli doesn't instantly get his shield up when you hold it. So watch out, because these cunts will try to sneak attack you, even though their size is as big as Timmy's bullshit. Number three, spam his ultimate. It's cool, it hits hard, and he says, This is order. That alone should be good enough reason to why you should spam this shit. But the main reason is because of Petrify. People look down on Petrify for some reason, but it saved my ass in the abyss countless times, and it's always up because the cost for this is 40, and that's really low. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys enjoyed, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Join the Discord server, it's in the description below, and uh, other than that, Bye-bye.